Thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to Beauty Booth. My name is Kelly Wells. Your learning about henna is amazing. It's interesting. It's fun. Now, we started learning about the different patterns and we started with the Arabic strap. And right now, once again, I am with Silha on set. And hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You? Thank you. I'm good. So what next are we doing? Well, we did do the Arabic strap yes. and you liked it, of course. Yes. So right now we're going to go to an Indian, Indian strap. strap. Yeah. Indian With strap. the Indian strap, it is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It has different characteristics though from the Arabic strap. Mm -hmm. With Indian strap, it, it has really small patterns, mm -hmm. really small locks. And it is so repetitive. Mm -hmm. Like each lock you do, you just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it again. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't have any antigens like the moving, the normal antigens. Mm -hmm. No, you just have some leaves. Makes it so pretty. Okay, all yeah. right. So now what next? What next is that we're doing a different pattern. All right. Remember I told you we have Arabic, Indian and Sudanese. Mm -hmm. So we just did Arabic and that was amazing, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it was. So we're going to have our Indian pattern then. Mm -hmm. And with me, I have Hafsa mm -hmm. and Zeta. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Karibuni. <laughs> so Hafsa is going to do an Indian mm -hmm. strap mm -hmm. on Zena. Right. And with the Indian strap, it is so amazing because it has repetitive and repetitive locks mm -hmm. okay so and the uh, indian locks are tiny mm -hmm. and like the arabic ones you saw the arabic ones were kind of having little bit big and mm -hmm. spaced out mm -hmm. they, yeah. yeah yeah so with the indian patterns mm -hmm. it is uh, tiny mm -hmm. and repetitive all right. and with the indian patterns there are no antigens no at, at all. all yeah it can have maybe one or two mm -hmm. but mostly they have indian leaves indianish leaves mm -hmm. yeah so they just have the leaves and the locks mm -hmm. repetitive locks. All right. yeah. and she's going to be using the red henna remember we made the red henna yeah. and we said you could sit it you yeah. let it sit for, for some hours and then use it here so she's going to use the red henna uh -huh to do the Indian pattern. Yes, and I understand this one now doesn't have like starting from the fingers or whatever. You can do it, remember I told you the mm -hmm. stripe, you can do it from the finger mm -hmm. downward mm -hmm. or from the middle going down mm -hmm. and up mm -hmm. or from up and down. Yes. So she's going to start from the middle, mm -hmm. yeah, and then she's going to go down to the finger mm -hmm. and a little bit up. All right. Yeah. And as you can see, she's trying to bring out the repetitive and the blocks. Yeah. I can see when the, the curves are so tiny, tiny, just like you're saying, and for the Arabic, they were a little bit, a bit huge. Bit, yes. Yeah. So, with the Indian and the Arabic and the Sudanese, the mm -hmm. Sudanese have the biggest battles. Yeah. Yeah. Big, bold, mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. Makes it so pretty. I really can't wait for that one. But uh, as from the photos that I've seen for the, the, Ar the Indian, yeah. because of those small ones and repetitive, I think it has its own, you know, prettiness as yes, well. Yeah. It has its own prettiness as well. You see, she's giving it repetition mm -hmm, all see. over and all over. Is, that, is it an itchy on your hand? It's not itchy. It's not itchy. All right, that's a good sign. So you remember we said some it can work with both, and mm -hmm. some just one or none. Yeah. Can I fill the hand for a moment? Alright. Yeah. So you see it has wow. tiny patterns, yeah. repetitive patterns, because mm -hmm. it's actually repeating itself mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And then it comes again and then it's just repeating it's itself. itself. So yeah. it continues and continues. Yeah, and continue. So it can go for as long as you want, mm -hmm. for as far as you want. Mm -hmm. And you can also change like when you're doing the pattern, mm -hmm. you can also change the pattern, mm -hmm. change it like maybe once or twice and mm -hmm. then give it repetitive again. Once again. Yeah. All right.
it's like they are on for the yes. year. This and is um, yeah. The leaf mm. and the and that. Uh, all right. Yeah. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. Does it end like uh, right there, or you can have it continue? You can, continue? if you want to, you can have it continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you want to, you can also have it stop there. Okay, nice. This, this is amazing. And as you can see, she's also going with the flow. Mm -hmm. It's just like flowing, flowing down. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is what we call a strap. It's just flowing down your hand. Yeah. But uh, but for example, if, please may I? If she wanted to add something here, will she be able to? Yes. You can add a leaf she or two. Oh, nice. Or even the... Remember the when I told you art is just creativity mm -hmm. and imagination? Mm -hmm. So she can add a lot of stuff. That's all? Just that. Looks so simple yet so intricate yet so hard. But it's so simple and nice. It is, yes. Yeah. And as you can see, repetitive buttons. Really at, least, uh, at least this one is not as, you know, as the first one. The first the one I feel like you buttons. have to be very, very keen in class. This one at least, you know. Yeah, you can you find you just your have own. to repeat the patterns, the patterns. Yes. And as I told you, no antigens, mm -hmm. just the leaves mostly. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Guys, what do you think about the Indian strap? Beautiful, right? So basically it's all a repetition of the patterns. Then you find a way to break the pattern, then you can keep on, you know, repeating again. And it's so beautiful because of the tininess yes. of the you know the, the way you of the, the yeah so beautiful and that's all guys for now share and you know comment tell us how you feel about this specific kind of stuff using the handles right below your screen until next hey keep slaying and slay us away <laughs>